Drake was the most successful privateer of his time and a close friend of the Queen. Elizabeth herself sponsored his most profitable voyage in 1577, a three-year journey west during which he boldly attacked and plundered Spanish ships and Spanish settlers. The trip also resulted in the first circumnavigation of the world by an Englishman. When he returned in 1580, he bestowed upon his queen Spanish gold worth over half a million English pounds. In Spain, Philip demanded Drake's head. In England, Queen Elizabeth knighted him. An infuriated Philip from his mountaintop retreat called the Escorial plotted his revenge on Elizabeth and England. The Escorial was part palace, part monastery, built by Philip in 1563 and paid for with gold taken from the Americas. Philip used his vast wealth for the glory of Spain, not himself. From breakfast to bedtime, Philip toiled like a common bureaucrat. He personally read reports from his mints and accounts from his gold mines. Pious to the point of austerity, he dressed like a common monk. Visitors mistook him for one of his own servants. In the hallways and chapels of the Escorial, Philip pondered and prayed for a solution to his two biggest problems, English pirates and English Protestants.